So today we have, oh, whoa, what's going on right now? I'm sorry. Take all my, my emails popping up and stuff. I'm like, well, relax. All right, cool. All right, you ready? Yeah. Awesome. So today we have Sydney Nanton from the University of California, San Francisco School of Dentistry. Sydney, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. So if we can go ahead and get started, uh, can you kind of give our viewers a kind of overview of your dental school journey? So where'd you go to undergrad? Where'd you major in? Or what'd you major in, excuse me? Um, did you take a year off? And yeah, we'll start with that. All right. So like I said, I'm Sydney Nanton. Um, from Temecula, California. If you're not familiar with California, it's in um, SoCal. Um, I went to undergrad at UCLA and I okay. studied psychobiology. Um, and I didn't take a gap year. So I graduated and like went straight to um, UCSF. Okay, awesome. So I love when like the, uh, the students that we interviewed, they went straight through because I know and the students know or the viewers know that you had to have a strong DAT, right? Just to be able to make that transition. So what would be your number one piece of advice to students, um, you know, whether that be, you, you know, your number one resource or your number one, like, method of studying? Like, what would be your number one tip with regards to the DAT? I think the most important thing with the DAT um, is to do practice questions. I know a lot of people, they know all the material, and then the test is timed and the questions are asked in a weird way. So if you know the material, like you can still not finish. Um, you can still not be sure what they're asking. Um, the PAT section, like you will run out of time if you don't, pre I think you'll run out of no, time. No, you will, you will, you will, you definitely will. Yeah, like I remember when I first started taking, I was just studying just the material, um, which you should obviously have like a good foundation. But when I first started, and then it was time for me to start doing like time tests, I only got through like half the test and I was like, oh, I'm about to, <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to be good. Um, but once I started doing practice questions and timing myself, I felt like the test wasn't that bad. Okay. Okay. And so, so, okay. So you go to uh, University of San Fran right now, mm -hmm. you went to UCLA. Mm -hmm. What made you decide on going to San Fran versus UCLA's dental school? Because I know they have a great program as well. Uh -huh. It's actually interesting. So I, um, interviewed at both UCLA and UCSF before December and on December 1st I got into UCLA but UCSF didn't contact me they didn't waitlist me they didn't do anything so um I originally actually paid my deposit to UCLA and I was going to UCLA wow and then UCSF hit me up in February mm. yeah, so I had two weeks to decide but I think ultimately what made me make my decision is I wanted something different Yep. Um, I'm from Southern California. I spent four years at UCLA. Um, I just wanted to try something different. And I felt like at UCLA, it was a very, I don't say relaxed culture, but everyone seemed like pretty happy and like it was a good workload. Um, good work-life balance didn't seem, I, I hate to say it's intense, but I feel like UCSF seemed like a happier place. At least the vibe I got, like UCSF seemed like just a really chill place. I, I, think, I think that's what I wanted like a different change of pace and that's that's huge you know i think that the the tone that you at least perceive yeah you know, that, that will set the standard for your entire general school experience so mm -hmm. i mean it makes sense it makes sense and so let me ask you about your interview yes. at ucsf like how was that actual process how'd that go so my interview at ucsf um, we were interviewed by a student and a faculty. Okay. And one thing I appreciated is both interviews were, it was basically a conversation. Like maybe the student was a little bit more structured. Like you could tell they had questions they were looking off really? of, but they were bouncing off of those questions, asking you about different things you mentioned. It was really a conversation. Mm -hmm. um, I remember the faculty interview. I didn't, we didn't talk a lot about my qualifications we just talked about life and like what we're interested in mm -hmm. and stuff like that so i really appreciate ucsf i feel like they get the sense that through your application they know the type of person you are type of applicant you are they know they're interested but i feel like the interview is just to make sure you're a good person or someone that they'd want it to be their colleague that's like right. the vibe okay awesome awesome and so another quick question um so say a pre-dent wants to kind of um, expose or at least show face to the UCSF uh, 
faculty or admissions, whatever it may be. Are there any type of programs where pre-dents can kind of go in, show face, and just kind of see what it's like to be a student at the school? Yeah, so I think UCSF's really good at that. We had, I remember when I was an undergrad, I did a program called Inside UCSF. Mm -hmm. And basically UCSF, pay, for all the students who did it, they paid to have you come to um, UCSF for a full weekend and you just spent time in like your respective school. So for me, I spent time in the School of Dentistry. Mm -hmm. um, I met different dental students. They took us to the cadaver lab. They let us um, do impressions. They let us drill. Like, and we really learned a lot about the school. Um, so that was really cool. Actually, some people that I went to that program with go to UCSF now. Wow. So that was cool. And then also, um, this is kind of like a quick plug, but I'm a part of SNDA um, mentorship. In any way, we have a mentorship program where we get, it's normally students from the Bay Area because it's closer and easier for them to like come to our school. Mm -hmm. But we um, have like a mentorship program. We hold workshops, um, just like ADSAS workshops, DAT workshops, personal statement workshops, where you get to work with dental students um, and just really get to be part of the culture, part of the school. And then we also hold a really big impressions conference where we have like 150 um, pre-dental students. You work with faculty, you work with us, um, you work with admissions. So there's a lot of opportunity for pre-dental students to check out our school. Awesome, awesome. Quick question for me. Are you going to the conference this year? If there is a conference, <laughs> we have to. That's awesome. Yeah, but yeah, I would like to go to conference. It's going to be in New Orleans this year. It's going to be a really good time. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. I'm a part of SMDA at Tufts as well. So everybody um you know of course look at all the organizations when you do go to dental school um i think that's one of the uh that's one of the ways to kind of enhance your dental school experience like really joining these organizations um it's very easy especially with different schools to have lecture cash to just kind of stay to yourself but i think the more you involve yourself in different um organizations and things of that nature i think you'll enjoy your time a little bit better I agree. I don't think my experience would be the same without SMBA. See, yeah, same, same. And so you are now a D2. Mm -hmm. So can you kind of walk us through your first year of dental school? So basically, like, what were the classes like? Uh, did you have any type of exposure to clinic? Did you have a pre-clinic experience? Like, how was everything? So first year for us is a lot of didactic work. Um, but I do appreciate it every quarter starting from first quarter we were in the sim lab so we were doing um, first quarter we were doing a lot of cavity preps um, starting in second quarter we started doing crown preps cavity preps um, and we did that all throughout first year actually so we got a lot of preclinic we got a lot of preclinic experience mm -hmm. um, we also did um, we had mandatory assisting hours so we were in clinic actually a lot like assisting so that's one thing I really appreciate about our school and as far as the classes, I know one thing students, like with SNDA, like students who we see, they ask us, oh, is dental school hard? Yes, it's hard, but I wouldn't say it was harder than any of my undergraduate classes. I think it's just a lot of work. Yeah. So first year, was, it was a lot of work, a lot of classes, a lot of hours in the anatomy lab, a lot of hours in like the simulation lab. Um, but once you get used to like just the amount of work, you should be fine. And just keeping up with it, right? I think oh, yeah. Yeah, burnout is real. Burnout mm -hmm. is real. And like you said, I completely agree with you. It's not the difficulty of the classes because it's not more difficult. You just have more to do. Yeah. So it's interesting. And so I'm asking every, diff every different dental school the same question. What makes your school unique? You know, there's always that one thing that you know that no other dental school has or you think that no other dental school has that yours does. Mm-hmm. Um, so the one superficial answer is our um, sim lab. We have a beautiful view of like the Golden Gate Bridge. You can see the water. Um, so we need a break from drilling all day. Like that's really a nice view, it relaxes you. Another thing that I think is really interesting about UCSF and that drew me to it is we're only a graduate school. So we have um, pharmacy, medicine, physical therapy, different PhD programs, nursing programs. So you're really surrounded by a lot of like-minded individuals. Mm -hmm. And we even take a class our first year called um, Interprofessional Education. And you're in a class with medical students, nursing students, pharmacy yeah, students, you. physical therapy yeah. students. And you like work, learn and like work through um, cases and together. And it's a really interesting experience. I don't know if I would have gotten somewhere else. And I really appreciate it. And now I know 
how we as dentists can rely on those other professions and what our role plays in like the team um, healthcare scheme. Right, right. Isn't it also interesting, like we literally just had like one workshop on that same exact thing. But mm -hmm. I thought it was kind of interesting how like we're low key all learning almost the same thing up mm -hmm. to a certain extent, you know? Yeah, I thought that like, was really interesting. It's, it's, it's weird, right? It's just kind of like, okay, this is cool. But no, no, that's, that's actually major and super important. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think a lot of schools like at all really kind of dive into that. So that's huge. Yeah, so that's, I really appreciate that opportunity. And so last question of the interview, if you could go back in time and talk to your younger self while you were going through the whole application process, what's one piece of advice or um, one piece of just like comforting words or whatever it may be that you would give to yourself? Hmm. I think for me, uh, there's a practical advice and then there's like what would comfort me we want so, both we want both we want both <laughs> so the practical advice would be to save your money mm. um, so make sure you have like money to pay for all these interviews and different schools because i will say i applied to some schools um not realizing like oh these supplemental applications cost money yeah. or this school might ask me to interview with them the week of thanksgiving that ticket's is gonna be six hundred dollars yeah. so it's unfortunate but there's interviews i actually didn't take luckily i knew like there's other schools i i had enough interviews but there's interviews i couldn't take at schools i probably would have liked to go to because it just got too expensive mm. i would have like saved money um as far as comforting words of advice i would say that if you get an interview because i know for interviews i was so nervous so really worked up but when you get to that point like they know who you are you know who you are they'd be lucky to have you and you'd be lucky to go to their school so like use that as a time to make sure you really fit in there you don't have to beg to get into their school like know that you bring something to the table as well um so just go in there like having confidence in yourself and i guess i'll be thinking confidence know your worth yes <laughs> for real though no that's awesome that's awesome sydney thank you so much for your time today if any of our viewers have any questions what's the best way that they can uh, contact you uh so they can contact me through my email address um i don't know if we can type this somewhere but it's uh sydney.nanton at ucsf.edu um or they can contact me through instagram Awesome, awesome. And I'll put both in the description box below just in case anybody wants to, to reach out, which I'm sure they will uh, with their questions. But uh, right. once again, Cindy, thank you so much from the uh, Future DDS family. We really do appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Of course, of course. Everybody, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. If you have any questions for us over here at Future DDS, send us a DM at underscore Future DDS on Instagram, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. But until next time, see y'all later.